Hey guys, really quickly, I'm gonna back up. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what we got our three-year-old for Christmas. His name is Cooper. If you are new here, I'm Olivia. We are a blended family of five. Olivia, my fiance, Nick, works offshore. And then he has a son named Hayden. He is 10 years old from a previous relationship. I have Cooper from a previous relationship. He is three years old. And we have a baby that we had in November. He is a month old now. His name is Mason. So we have all boys in this house and I am overran with boys. Um, I want a girl, but I don't think that'll ever happen. Um, so yeah, so in our house, Santa brings our stockings and Santa brings one group gift for everybody together and either one or two gifts individually. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what we got for the kids first and then I will show you what Santa is planning to bring. And I will also link the stocking stuffers down below in case you were interested in those. So the first thing that we picked up, I've already wrapped everything up. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. So I'm gonna insert pictures. The first thing that we got for Cooper was a Play-Doh set. It's called Sherry the Sheep Play-Doh set. And I picked it up at Ollie's like in October for $9.99. It may have been September. Um, and it basically is this sheep and it comes with a bunch of Play-Doh and hair accessories for the sheep. And it's, it sounds kind of girly, but it's not. It's kind of like a gender neutral gift. Um, but you insert the Play-Doh into the sheep somehow. I think you feed it to it and you spin its tail and it makes this annoying bah sound. And the Play-Doh, which is the hair, comes out the top and you can cut the hair with Play-Doh scissors. Um, like I said, I found it at Ollie's for $9.99 a few months back, so it may not be there anymore. But I know it's on Amazon for like $13 or $14. So everything that I can find online, I will link down below. And I'm going to insert a picture of that now. The next thing that our three-year-old will be getting is a Peppa Pig Playhouse. Um, I picked it up at Walmart back in the summertime. It was originally $29, um, and I got it for $10 on clearance. It's no longer on clearance, um, and I cannot find it on the Walmart's website, but I did find it on JCPenney's, and I will link it down below, and it's like $19 on there right now, maybe a little bit less. Um, if it's on sale still, if it was on, if it's still on sale, it's like $13 or $14. Um, and then we got him a Peppa Pig plush, um, and it was normally like $10 at Walmart, and I got it on clearance as well with the dollhouse for $5. So I will link both of those down below and insert pictures here. So the next thing that we got for Cooper is a Ford F-350. Sorry, he's ready to eat and I'm trying to film this and heating up the bottle at the same time. But we got him a red Ford F-350 truck at five below. And I picked him up while his bottle's heating up and he's still kind of upset. So it was a Ford F-350 and it was $5 at five below. And also to go with that, he loves trains as well, and so the Mighty Express trains were on clearance a while back at Target during the summer for $3, and I was going to put them up for his Easter basket, but Hayden got a bunch of bigger gifts this year, and so are more pricey gifts, so I decided just to throw the two little trains that I got on clearance at Target in the bag. I've got the bag right here, but I threw the F-150 truck, or F-350 truck, and the three trains, or the two trains in the bag together for his Christmas gift, just to put it as a one gift together to make the price a little bit more equal. So I'll insert pictures of those now. I'm not sure if I can link the F-350 truck at five below, but they do have a lot of other ones to pick from, and it's not all Ford trucks. If you have a little boy or a little girl that likes like the big cars that you can roll on the floor. So the next thing that we got for Cooper, I found at Five Below as well, um, but I know you can get them on like Etsy and things like that, and I couldn't find an exact picture of it, but I did find one online to kind of look like it, and it's a sensory bin, and it just comes with like sand and some little beads and different things that you can put in the thing, and it comes in a bin, and you just play with it kind of like Play-Doh, but it's sand, so I will insert a picture of that now. The next thing that Cooper is getting is a Baby Yoda backpack. I could not find it online anywhere except for eBay and it is severely overpriced, but I did find it and I will link it down below. Cooper is for the first time starting daycare um, in January when I go back to work. Um, and so 
I picked him up the Baby Yoda backpack at Dirt Cheap. I found it for like $6 and it came with a lunchbox. And I always get them pajamas. I found Cooper a pair of Grinch pajamas on sale last year after Christmas. And they're Grinch. He had the same pair last year, just got a bigger size. Um, and so I will link those down below. I couldn't find the exact one online this year, but I found the exact one in a sleeper and I will insert both of those now. And the last two little toy gifts that he is getting, I found a Paw Patrol, one of the newer cars that comes with one of the little characters at Dirt Cheap and it was half off. I got it for $10. Um, and so it's a little car that you push on the floor and it has the little figure that goes inside of it. Sorry. And then I also found him an 18 wheeler truck at Burlington for $7.99 or $8.99. And you just push it on the floor and it has little trucks that load up onto it. He's into trailers and trucks and Peppa Pig and Paw Patrol and things like that. All the typical boy stuff. So we'll insert a picture of those now. Last two things that Cooper is getting from us, my mom actually picked out and I just paid her back for them. Um, he is getting some Spider-Man rain boots. I actually wanted to get them for him and she ended up buying them before I could get my hands on them. Um, I'm not sure. I think she got them at Walmart. And then he is also getting an Amazon tablet. He got one last year and he ended up breaking it. So she got the break, proof, break free proof case with it. And, um... It was like on sale for like Amazon Prime for like $30 or $40 and it comes with a year worth of subscriptions and it's going to be like censored for kids and only we're doing this because Hayden, you'll see in his video soon that he's getting some type of electronic and he also has an iPad and so I wanted something for Cooper to play when I just need a little moment of silence with him and so he is getting one of those. Now the last few things are Santa gifts and the one thing that Cooper himself is getting from Santa is a three-wheel car. He wants a bike but he's too short to ride a bike right now and so I got him a Mickey Mouse three-wheel. It was like $50 on Amazon and I had it sitting in my cart waiting for the price to drop and it dropped to $16 one day and so I will insert a picture of that and then Hayden is getting a swing set but I will show you a picture of it. It's not his gift, it's their gift together. But Hayden's cost so much that we just got the swing for him, but it's actually a gift for both of them, but it's his big gift for Under the Tree. And then I also got them a four pack of Nerf guns. Comes with two big ones and two little ones. And I'm gonna open it up and put it under the tree, one of the big ones and a small one for each of them. And so that is their Santa gifts. So that is all that we got our three-year-old for Christmas this year. I feel like we definitely toned it down this year a lot. Um, oop. We usually spend a good bit more, but they get a lot of smaller gifts. So I feel like we got some quality stuff this year that's going to last them a while, like the swing set and things, and things that'll keep them busy for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do did, please comment and let me know what you're getting your kids for Christmas so I can have some ideas for the future or your stockings. Um, and definitely give me a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm of other people see in my video. And um, definitely subscribe so you can see when I upload Little Mason's Christmas gifts and Hayden's gifts as well. Bye, guys.